Raiders with first possession to get the game underway. Toss left to the running back who makes a cut and breaks a couple of tackles on his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Bamba gets to the outside and blows by the defense for the 55-yard score. Raiders jump out to a 12-0 lead in the first couple of minutes into the game. The defense disrupting the snap and forces the fumble. Cornerback Ethan Guerrero scoops up the loose ball and takes it the opposite way for the score. He finished the game with two touchdowns. Raiders pick up the win 32-0 in the Mega Division. Eagles took the Munha game 15-6. Raiders won the Matua game 12-6. The Angels take two out of three games against the Packers. Packers won the Munha game 13-0. Angels won the Mecca Division game 26-0 and also won the Matua matchup 24-6. Broncos beat the Steelers 28-6 in the Munha game. Steelers took the Mecca Division 13-6. They also won the Matua game 6-0. Glorified sparring four was held at Steel Athletics in Tamuni. 44 competitors put themselves to the test in front of a packed house. Fighters stepped into the cage for the fight card that featured boxing bouts, MMA fights, no-gi jiu-jitsu, and kickboxing. There were vendors on site and food sold courtesy of Matakos. Gym owner J.J. Ambrose says the event started off as a way for his fighters to get experience in the cage before taking off for international competition and for a way to give back to the community by donating to nonprofit organizations. Donations were accepted at the door with proceeds going to the Pacific War Museum. A total of $1,000 was collected by spectators in attendance. Competitors represented Carlson Gracie Guam, Integrated Martial Arts, Steel Athletics, and Guam Muay Thai. With the success, popularity, and more fighters interested in putting their training to use, Ambrose has already lined up another event scheduled for October. Make sure to follow Still Athletics on Instagram to stay updated on the glorified sparring events. Turning over to some soccer news, working to gain full membership into the Guam Football Association for the Napa Rovers FC was one of Peter Wall's final duties for the club as president before passing the torch to new and coming president Joel Sablon and years of persistence paid off at the GFA Extraordinary Congress. The Rovers received 10 out of a possible 11 votes to achieve full GFA membership status during the GFA Extraordinary Congress held at the Guam Football Association National Training Center Lecture Hall. The club will now be afforded full club privileges, including